everything. Aye, there you go. What is going on everybody? Andy Gabs back for another vlog and today we are actually at a friend of mine and he's in the reptile group that I'm in, SDRK. Uh, so we're at his shop right now, SoCal Scales, here in Imperial Beach, California. I'm just gonna go through, show you guys everything that his shop has to offer. Uh, we're gonna take some stuff out, mess with a bunch of animals. I might hold a tarantula, but no promises there because I hate bugs. Let's go check it out. So right when you walk in, this is pretty much what you can see. You can see virtually the whole shop when you walk in. Uh, so I'm just gonna bring you guys around and we're gonna check out the whole shop and see all the different animals. All right, so right when you walk in to your left, you can see these are all chameleon cages, so it's veiled and panther chameleons. All right, so the one that I have out right now is a Mitzio panther chameleon. Uh, and I've actually never even heard of these guys until he just told me what it was. I guess it was like a blue bar envelope, but I guess a Mitzio panther chameleon, and this one is a male. Right to your right when you walk in next to the chameleons, there is some product. Looks like a lot of Zoom Ed product, some under the tank heat, and then bearded dragons. I don't really know anything about bearded dragons, never owned a bearded dragon in my life. You guys know that I like a lot more of the higher pace reptiles, the stuff that's a little bit more crazy than just a bearded dragon. But they're still really cool. This one's really pretty. It's a red bearded dragon. It's actually sold, but really cool if you can see. Awesome red color all down the sides. Walk past the bearded dragons, past some more supplies. Over to here, we have some day geckos. Frogs, what is that? <laughs> we got some alarms going off. All right, so we got day geckos, white tree frogs, Chinese cave geckos, milk frogs. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Milk frog right there, that's cool. I've never seen one of those before. Uh, red eye tree frog, so this is more like the tropical section, I guess. Stuff that requires a little bit higher humidity. But uh, let's take some stuff out. So if you guys could probably guess, this is a Lichianus, uh, biggest species of gecko in the world. It's gonna get huge. They think they weigh like over a pound, right? When they're fully grown, absolutely crazy. And this one's still pretty small. It's a female, has a little weight to go, but when it's fully grown, like easily the size of my hand completely, um, over a pound for a gecko is pretty nut. In here, we have a Chinese cave gecko. These guys are super cool and they have kind of like a leopard gecko-y look to them, but obviously the coloration is way, way different with these guys. Super pretty though, like that neon orange eye look. And this takes the cake for my favorite frog ever. This is a red eye tree frog. We sprayed my hand so we won't dry them out any, but the eyes and then the blue that you can kind of see, oh, perfectly right there, um, they are absolutely gorgeous. We did have to wake him up, so he's probably a little bit angry with me that I woke him up. But the reds and his eyes and in his feet, absolutely gorgeous. And you guys know that I love green tree pythons. Uh, if you saw my video that I did with Cass, um, they don't tend to love me, but I love them. So he does have a green tree python right here. Buy a green tree python, so go ahead and take him out too and uh, try to not get bit while we do it. So you guys can't quite see him yet, but he's right here behind this log. Briar? <laughs> Don't bite the fish. Don't bite the fish. Well, he bit me. I don't know if you guys saw it, but he got my uh, sweater, so that didn't hurt. All right, got him out. Managed to not really get bit. I mean, he bit my, uh, he bit my sweater a little bit, but not too bad. He didn't actually get me. He seems to be really curious about the camera. It's weird, every animal is super obsessed. There's a microphone right on the top of the camera and it's got what's called a dead cat on it. It's like a big fuzzy thing. And every animal, like my dogs, even the snake was just like mesmerized by it. But everything, aye, but everything, aye, but everything, aye. There you go. You got my finger, that was a good one. Not the best place to bite either. That hurt. See if we can get him thrown back in without getting bit again and uh, move on and show you guys some crested geckos. We have a bunch of crested geckos or cresties. Uh, I've never had one of these as a pet either, honestly, because again, they're just not really my speed, but they are very cute. Do have a uh, common thing with losing their tails, though I think most of his do seem to have their tails on, except for one dude, but super common. They lose their tails all the time. Next to them is some mountain horned lizards. Now moving over here, we've got a rack that has blood pythons. Looks like ball pythons. How's your guys' blood <laughs> python? Is he nice? 
Very. For a blood python, very. Really? Very, 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 very. So you guys know from um, my video with Cusco, I've never had good blood python experiences, but they said this guy is really nice. As he hands him to me, he like opened his mouth for a second too. I feel like he wanted to bite me. <laughs> Definitely pretty. Crazy that this guy is gonna be like, I don't know, three, four feet long, but they get so heavy bodied around. Again, you probably saw my video with Cusco where uh, his giant blood python was absolutely cool. And then this guy is a coastal carpet python. They just got him in a week ago. I, uh, I never really had an appreciation for carpets or scrubs until I did that video with all the different scrub pythons. And uh, they kind of won my heart over. I would love to get one once I can keep again. All right, so now we're getting into stuff that's a little bit more my speed. A green tree monitor right there. And I guess neither of these guys are mean. They're just really skittish. And obviously they're tree monitors, so they're super fast. And then a mangrove monitor you can kind of see sitting right there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to take at least one of them out. All right, so I guess she doesn't want to come out. So now I'll try the mangrove and just see how that goes. What's up, buddy? Come on. Oh, you bastard. Where'd you go? Oh, right there. Oh, oh bruh. Can I lose him? Yeah. Where's he at? Over here. Great. All right, so uh, as you guys saw, the mangrove monitor just jumped out. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get him back now. Go me. We at least know where he he's is. He's only by the window like the last one. So as long as no one bangs on the window out there, I think you got him. I'll take partial responsibility. <laughs> yeah, he's running all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> is he in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> nope. Oh, he's right there. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get him back in. Yeah, so I mean, you guys get why I said I like them more, I guess. <laughs> they're crazy and they're unpredictable and kind of awesome, but hey, we got them back in, that's all that matters. So probably my favorite thing that they have in here is this yeah. pair of Mexican horned lizards. And I guess they told me they're kind of like bearded dragons. Super lazy, but oh yeah. You can see like all the spikes along their back and on their head. So crazy looking. They're basically just like a cooler looking bearded dragon, in my opinion. They look very similar, and you can tell just by holding them, they are kind of that lazy demeanor. But there is a pair of them. There's the other one, and you can imagine, like, if you were walking through the desert, you would not see this dude at all, even a little bit. He just looks like dirt. So one really cool thing about these guys is that uh, when they're threatened or when they're scared, one of their defense mechanisms is they can actually squirt blood out of their eyes, which is pretty gnarly if you think about it um they just get scared and then they can like charge up blood at the corner of their eyes kind of like where the where your tear duct is and they squirt blood out at you um pretty gnarly and if you were going to eat something and it squirted blood out of its eyeball at you you would probably second guess it this is a plated lizard uh, they told me he's kind of flighty so we're going to do my best not to let him escape too i have my friend alberto holding the camera for me right yeah, now no, nothing i just know you're holding it no i mean i'm definitely <laughs> holding it that's true um so it's a plated lizard from sudan right yeah yeah from sudan not super common and it feels like armor plating all the way down its back and it feels like that too like it's rigid like keratin there you go now you guys can really see it looks crazy once you get him out he's really cool but he did tail whip me once or twice. It didn't feel great. So I told you guys I would think about it, and I guess I've thought about it, and I guess I'm gonna do it. Hold this little baby curly hair tarantula. Let's just go for it. Just out of curiosity, like what does a bite from one of these feel like? Do you know? You wanna know? No, I don't wanna know at all. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I've never been bit. Definitely pretty though. Is there, are these the ones that can like flick the hairs out? Yeah. yeah, so all the new world ones can and the old world, okay. But then the old world ones have more potent venom oh, more scary. and they're faster. Yeah, and you have the orange baboon, right? That one's crazy. That's yeah. an old world. Yeah, so he's gonna take that out for you guys later. Nah, no, no, no. <laughs> Kiss it on the mouth. No. <laughs> but yeah, so I did it. So if you're scared to hold a tarantula, just do it. It's not that bad. It hasn't moved. If it ran right now, I'd probably freak out though. I'm not even lying. I would probably run away. <laughs> yeah, like it's gonna go that way. I'm gonna go the other way. All right, so this is a vinegaroon scorpion, I guess. I've never heard of this ever, but I guess as its defense mechanism, it basically shoots vinegar out of its butt. So take that for what you will. But I mean, again, it's kind of like the um, the horny toad that if you get shot in the face with blood out of its eyes, you're probably gonna leave it alone. 
if something shoots vinegar out of its butt at me, I'm probably not gonna continue to try to eat it. Definitely a weird, weird looking thing though. It kinda looks like a big potato. All right y'all, so we left SoCal Scales. I hope you enjoyed that portion of the video, but now we are at my buddy Alberto's house. Uh, he is another member of SDRK, that thing that you guys just saw. So we're just gonna go around. He has obviously got cages all in his living room, so he's pretty much just gonna show us what he's got. All right, so we're gonna start off with this tour with the fish, uh, but it's an Oscar. Oh my God. That's crazy. He just goes for it. And what kind of Oscar did you say he was again? Latino. Latino? Latino. Latino. T-I-N-O. And basically means like albino, but he's got, you guys can see the little bit of black on his fins. Definitely really cool though. This is a blue tongue tank, obviously. I'll put him on the bed so you guys can check him out. What kind is he? Blue tongue. He's a, I think it's a Meraki. Meraki? Yeah, that's that's what I've been told a couple times. But obviously you can see he's a rescue. He's missing yeah. a couple toes. He's yeah, a, his name's Stumps. He's still a good boy, look. He's just becoming a little cage aggressive. Yeah. That's about it, but. I think y'all have probably seen him in the market videos before. But he's definitely cool. Pretty big dude. Yeah, he's. I feel like he's way bigger even since the last time I seen him. And then, so in the kids' room, we got a bearded dragon. Dang, pancake Chloe. <laughs> Her name's Chloe. Chloe? Yeah. The pancake bearded dragon. <laughs> <laughs> she does not. I told you, it's the it's the uh, the microphone. They don't like it. It's the first session. <laughs> They do not like the microphone at all. Oh, look at her teeth. That's sick. Yeah, she's a really healthy yeah. dragon. A kid on there. Bought her at the show, and she kept he kept her for a whole year. And when he started um, having a busier schedule, yeah. he gave it to us. So that was everything from upstairs in the house. So now we are back downstairs. So down here, he's got two snakes, uh, two boas two iguanas, some frogs, and two chinchillas that I'm definitely gonna have to take out and play with at least a little bit. Uh, but right now, we're gonna take out the two boas. All right, and this is just a normal red tail, right? A BCC red tail? Oh, no, BCI. BCI red tail. Yes, a BCI. Possible hypo, we don't know her genes, but she'll be proven out soon. I don't know. Not this year, obviously, we're basically done. Yeah. But hopefully next year. What? But she's such a good girl. So I'm not saying the other one is not pretty, but you can tell this one is just kind of on a whole different level. Hypo, jungle, head sharp. It's a possible super. Possible super. Yeah. But yeah, dude, look at the red on the tail. It's almost like a like a candy red. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is Quincy the green iguana, right? Green? Yeah. Yeah, green iguana. Um, I'm not gonna get too, too close. I already, <laughs> this crime in here. Breeding season. <laughs> yeah, breeding season. And I'll tell you, you can see his tail all the way down. That's not like a vine, that is his tail right there. That thing will mess you up. Pretty crazy. The cage itself is huge. I'm back all the way up so you guys can see it. Do you know what are the dimensions on it? It's um, four by four, and it's like six and a half feet inside. But the whole cage from the legs up is eight feet. Yeah, so four by four by six and a half. That's a huge enclosure. And it's just like in his living room, it's badass. This is Kumba the green iguana. And uh, y'all just missed the battle that it took to get him out of the enclosure. But now that he's out, he seems a little bit better. But keep in mind, like if this dude bites you, it's a hospital visit. It's not like it might be a hospital visit, like you are gonna go to the hospital. Um, they have huge jaws. That's what that big bulge is, right? That's his jaw muscle? Jaw, yeah. Yeah. So you can see like that whole bulge right on his pinky finger. Yeah, right there. That's his jaw or his big jaw muscle. So they definitely have a lot of biting force, a lot of biting power. And that tail is huge. Absolutely crazy. Ooh, you can see <laughs> he got a little scratch on there and got whipped in the neck when he was taking him out. That right there, you know, that's a tail whip that just happened. It got him right behind the ear. <laughs> that's gnarly. Okay, and if you guys can't tell, this is two little chinchilla. Well, this is one chinchilla. This is Bo, and this is Farley, white and gray. I absolutely love chinchillas. They're, They're so brothers. soft. Oh, are they? Oh, that's dope. Four year olds. They were uh, a bonded pair, so they had to go together, and they're also rescues. Oh, they're so cute. Mostly everything here is rescues. Yeah, right? Yeah. How long do chinchillas live? Do they have a long lifespan? Yeah, like 25, 26. Oh, no shit. So they're going to be with Damn. us for a while. I did not know that. 20 more years. Easy. That's crazy. And chinchillas are a ton of work. Um, I would never get them just because, honestly, I wouldn't want to put in the amount of work 
They take, okay, I got them both now. <laughs> so yeah, Bo and Farley, super awesome, amazingly cute chinchillas. I would love to have some, but they like to cuddle, right? Like they, they like to just they be- like chinchill. Yeah, chinchill. <laughs> they like to chinchill. Alrighty guys, so obviously I made it home from SoCal Scales and my buddy Alberto's house. It was an awesome adventure. Uh, SoCal Scales really is a, a cool shop. I had a good time. He's got a lot of awesome stuff and a lot of really cool animals for a smaller shop. So go ahead, check him out. I'm going to throw all of his links down in the description for everything. Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Uh, as well as the website. I am going to go ahead and end this video here. But please, before I end this video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. All of that good stuff. You guys are the best. But I will say, guys... Y'all have asked me over and over again, multiple times, multiple people, Toe of Satan, it's coming. <laughs>